The Duterte administration's poster boy for the drug war, Police Lieutenant Colonel Jovius Penido finally breaks his silence on his inclusion in the government's narco list. He insists that he has no ties to the drug trade. The palace continues to back the controversial cop, saying there might be some flaws in how authorities gather intelligence on the narco industry. Maricel Halili with the story. Lieutenant Colonel Jove Espinido said he was shocked when he learned that his name is on the PNP's drug list. More than 400 policemen, including the controversial cop, was called to report to Camp Krami on February 7 after they ended up on the narco list. Espinido has been relieved from his post in Bacolod and has since been reassigned in the office of PNP Chief Archie Gamboa. Espinido admits his inclusion is a major source of embarrassment. He told us that he was hurt when Interior Secretary Eduardo Año pinned him down and insisted that the list is reliable. Espinido, who is considered the poster boy of the war on drugs, denies involvement in the clandestine industry. He is also thankful that President Rodrigo Duterte is throwing his support behind him. I believe that the wisdom of the president, uh, you know, because indeed they are so kilala ni President Pero sa ganun lang, yun ang sinabi sa summit niya lagi na nag-share ako ang President Pero. Presidential spokesperson Sal Panelo believes that Espinido may be a victim of flawed intelligence gathering. He's also entertaining thoughts that policemen's inclusion to the dark list is nothing more than a black propaganda. Because the president trusts him. It's not uh, unexpected that there may be some flaws in intelligence gathering. That happens. Sometimes they're even intentional. Former PNP chief and now Senator Roland Bato de la Rosa also expressed his support in Espenido. Ikaw, very active ka sa intelligent operation. Tapos ngayon may na kasagasaan ka na isang narcocap. Na narcocap na yun nasa intelligence community rin. Pwede ka gawan, re-respect ka nung isang narcocap na yan by... By, by creating a, a derogatory report against you. So, ang receiving unit naman na mag-receive dyan, hanggat hindi ka balik, it, it will stay there. On the other hand, detained Senator Laida de Lima finds Espinito's inclusion to the narc list as ironically amazing. The female senator, who is also a staunch Duterte critic, suspects that Espinito has fallen out of Duterte's good grace. Espinido made headlines after Albuera Leyte Mayor Rolando Espinosa was shot dead inside his cell in 2016. He was then the town's police chief. Espinido also led a series of raids in Osama City in 2017, which has led to the death of Mayor Reynaldo Parujinok. For News 5, Jenny Dongon, We Are One News.